ready to begin. Um, good afternoon. As you are all see, we're rather close. So if you could maintain your masks on, covering your nose, and um, maintain some kind of social distance. Do the best you can. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to the Galasano Medical Oncology Center. My name is Lynn Wolfgang Catalano. I'm the executive director here at the Foundation and Community Relations, and I am so glad to welcome you today. I came to this organization seven months ago. I wanted to work here for selfish reasons, to contribute to the improvement of our community. In the last seven months, I've been proud to be a part of an organization where we came together to combat a global pandemic. I've been proud to be part of an organization that stands up to racial inequalities. I've been proud to be part of an organization that sees the inequities in healthcare and is acting as an agent of change to do more and be more in our community. I'm so proud to be part of an organization that saw a void in cancer care in our area and had the foresight to develop this center. T.S. Eliot said that every moment is a fresh beginning. Today is a day of an auspicious beginning. Today we celebrate our collaboration and the culmination of philanthropic support and our community coming together. This center will be a beacon to many to mitigate the stress of an already stressful situation, perhaps even to help tear down some of the racial disparities in healthcare. Today, you will hear from the dreamers and the planners who made this project a reality. It is my very pleasure to introduce the president of Niagara University, Reverend James Mock. Let us pray. Today, as we gather to celebrate the Galasano Medical Oncology Center, we continue to pray for God's help, healing, God's providence in combating our nation's struggle with the global pandemic and the pandemic of racial injustice. We pray for the strength, courage, and faith that will lead us forward on the path of transformation public health, and to racial justice and healing. God of everlasting life, in the book of Genesis, you set your rainbow in the sky as a sign and a promise for people living in isolation, fear, and despair. Today, another rainbow appears, the gift of the Galasano Medical Oncology Center. Born of a provident, providential relationship and partnership between Thomas Galasano, Joseph Ruffalo, and Dr. Candace Johnson. May we live to fulfill the book, The Great Blessing and the Promise that has been set before us, where in the midst of fear and instability, human dignity will flourish. May this space be, in the words of the prophet Isaiah, a place of hope and healing the prophet tells us that God reminds us, do not fear, I am always with you. May it, be, may it be a place that embodies the everlasting embrace of science, faith, love, healing, and human connection, building the human community. Through the doctors, the nurses, the healthcare professionals, the staff, and the team, they are signs of your everlasting grace, presence, and healing. May this place be where the words of Jesus come to life, the invitation to surrender and to vulnerability, to enfold our suffering into your gracious embrace. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and in me you will find life and rest. We offer this prayer and this day in great confidence for you are God of everlasting love and life. Amen. Amen.
now on behalf of the Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center Board of Directors, the chairman, James Rosette. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. And I like to keep my remarks short, and people seem to like me better if I do that. So. Um, the one thing I want to bring up for those from Roswell and from not Niagara Falls, that people in Niagara Falls, I'm a lifelong resident, never thought this would happen. Roswell was always the center of excellence from my earliest days, and I recall my parents talked about it. We had relatives there, and I remember a friend of mine from high school was at Roswell. We went and visited him, and I didn't like that. But uh, he had to be there, and we knew he was in the best place. And so for years, and of course, people didn't have cars way back then, like we have now, everyone has a car. You couldn't go visit someone every day or twice a day like you do now. And so it was always a very sacrosanct thing that, wow, if you went there, you were getting the best treatment. And so to find that we have it here now for residents of this area is astonishing. And just yesterday, uh, a friend of mine who I went to grade school with, been getting treated for the last couple of years at Roswell and at Military Road was here yesterday for the first time. And he sent me a picture of the place. He couldn't believe it. How nice it was, how convenient it was. He felt like, and I can't remember the word he said, but he really felt exhilarated that he was here and being treated like this. So I want to thank the Roswell people for doing this, as well as the administration, Dr. Johnson, of course, our partners with Galasano, who's been very good, father with NU. It's about partnerships, and we couldn't do this our, by ourselves, that's for sure. And uh, the board has been very, very happy to do stuff like this and get things done that we never imagined. I never imagined when I got on this board 22 years ago we'd be doing this. I was hoping to just stay open for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you very much, Roswell, and, and everyone who put this together. It's very impressive. Thank you. Now, sorry, it is my pleasure to introduce the Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center President and CEO, Joseph <coughs> Ruffler. Thank you, Lynn, and good afternoon, everyone. So, when I joined, uh, when I joined Memorial at the close of 2002, I believe, November of 2002, um, I had shared with the board back then the horrific cancer rates in Niagara County and how much higher they were than what was being experienced throughout Western New York and New York State. And at that time, the board was very enthusiastic about the idea of, as I shared with them, wouldn't it be great if we could do a project and partner with Roswell Park to provide those cancer services right here on our campus. The board was very enthusiastic about the idea back then. So they had asked me to put together a timeline of how we could get this completed and when. So I spent all week back then doing a very detailed timeline. And I presented a plan to the board to say that we could get this done within 18 years. <laughs> so we met our target. <laughs> so today is a, a landmark day for area health care, a day to be celebrated not just by us, but by all those who live and work in Niagara, in northern Erie counties. And it was less than 14 months ago when we developed the, uh, when, when Niagara Falls Memorial joined the Roswell Park Care Network. And uh, I think you'll agree that since then our lives have changed in a very profound way with the advent of COVID. But the one thing that hasn't changed is the need for expert cancer care within our region. And so today it's a real privilege to dedicate the Roswell Park Care Network's new Niagara Falls home, the Galasano Medical Oncology Center. And with the opening of this center, people who live and work in Niagara County will instead be able to receive the expert cancer care, including hematology, medical oncology, expert oncology, oncological consultations, chemotherapy infusion, immunotherapies, right here in downtown. 
not the cause. And as you've heard uh, Lynn comment on, it, it really it addresses the health disparities in cancer care head on. Um, no small point that the cancer rates among African Americans, among Native Americans, among people that are challenged with intellectual and developmental disabilities, those that are challenged with behavior health issues, uh, huge disparity in terms of the rates of cancer among those population segments in comparison to the overall experience in the region. And so no longer will the lack of transportation to Roswell's Buffalo Cancer or Buffalo's campus be a, a, a barrier to care. And no longer will our neighbors need to cross two bridges to access Roswell's network of expert physicians and supportive care teams, teams devoted to reducing the burden of cancer. No longer will word will world class care by one of the very few NCI designated comprehensive cancer centers in the United States be out of reach for people that live in Mexico County. Roswell's continuing commitment to making cancer care accessible to all, and the generosity of the Tom Galasano and the Galasano Foundation to deliver a potent one-two punch to cancer prevention and treatment with a special emphasis on touching the lives of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and those who far too long have been medically underserved due to the racial disparities in care. There are many, many people to thank here today. I hardly know where to begin. But certainly, first and foremost, uh, Tom Galasano, the Galasano Foundation, and their amazing foundation director, Ann Costello, who could not be here today, and I know she's watching. Hi, Ann. <laughs> um, their support, they've, and they've taught us so much about respecting and meeting the needs of people with disabilities for every new program and service we develop. My dear friend, Dr. Candace Johnson, for tackling the significant challenges underscore significant challenges of regionalizing cancer care that we have today. And her team, Dr. Thomas Schwab, Carmen Gallucci, dear friend Sunita Panasar, Jim and Laura Constantine, Russell Geyser, our medical director, uh, Dr. Ravana Ramkumar, and uh, operating quarterback here, uh, Denise Hickey and her team for all of their efforts in bringing this extraordinary project to fruition. And I know there are other Roswell folks here in attendance. I apologize for not mentioning your names as we will be here till tomorrow morning. Thank you so much. Special thanks to our governing board and Roswell's governing board for being patient over 18 years to get this project done <laughs> for all their support. And to our uh, to our wizard of Wizard of Oz, uh, Sheila Key, <laughs> her uh, inspired leadership and, and her devotion and dedication to getting this project across the goal line um, with her yardstick ruler snapping the table every time something didn't go right, people marching to the drum, something didn't happen right, but uh, we're forever grateful for Sheila's leadership. And to Phil Silvestri and his architectural team, and Jim Helps and Matt Bryan and Telco Construction, hopefully you will agree to an outstanding job in this facility. Also, like to mention uh, our own project management team, construction led by Steve Lewis and his team, and deserving accolades certainly go to Peggy Brandonetti, William Pellegrino, and Jackie Bixler, Michelle Lewis. Mark Wright, our CFO, Ed Cassaro, John Smith, Matthews, and again, I'm certain I'm leaving people off, but thank you all. And, you know, they had worked together to make this project happen within the timeline that it set in terms of opening in July, um, despite the extraordinary work that was demanded upon them, and we 
responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. So we're very grateful for that. So in closing, it was Helen Keller who notably said, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. And so welcome to the Galasano Medical Oncology Center, where together we will do so much to improve the quality of life for all those that we touch. Thank you. And now the President and CEO and m and Bank Presidential Chair and Leadership of Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center, Dr. Candace Johnson. COVID dancing. <laughs> can't get close to anybody. So uh, thank you all um, for coming today. Thank you, Joe. This is, this is such a big milestone. Um, and I'm so proud to be here. Um, and shame on us that we didn't do this sooner. But, you know, at least we did it. Yeah. Yes. And thank you, Tom, Alisano, Anne. Thank you. Thank you so very much. We couldn't have done this without you. And, this incredible center will help to serve disadvantaged folks and folks that need that special attention. And so uh, thank you so much for that. We miss you. Sorry that you're not going to be here. I mean, we want to make a difference here in Niagara County. Um, you know, you guys may be excited to have us here, but we are so excited to be here. And er everyone that comes up here, you can just feel it. You just sort of feel it. You guys got soul. You got it right here. And um, to be a part of that is really very special. Uh, we really want to be here to help um, uh, in this community because, uh, as Joe said, uh, there's a disproportionate uh, population here that is affected by cancer. And COVID, oh my goodness, just makes, uh, you know, it, it's hitting those folks even more. And uh, so, I mean, who would even, even believe that we're in this sort of COVID situation? But we are. And, and I, it's hard to believe that this got all completed during during all of that. You know, it's really pretty phenomenal that that all happened. You know, we, um, our affiliates are Roswell Park Cancer Care Network. Thomas Schwab, who's back there, uh, has done really a remarkable job. And I'd like to think that it's really the combination of all these personalities that have brought this together. You know, Joe and I have always... Um, been friends and, and colleagues, and actually even during this COVID um, crisis, we started having these phone calls. Uh, I probably shouldn't say these things, but we'd have <laughs> phone calls with all the CEOs. I won't name any names. Right. All the CEOs of the health systems in yeah. Western New York. Yeah. And the only two people on the call were Joe and I. <laughs> two out of four. <laughs> two out of four. Well, you know, we were the important people. <laughs> so, uh, uh, it's just interesting. I mean, everybody was busy. That's probably why. <laughs> we'll just say that. Um, but, you know, we, we have, besides this incredible Galasano um, center that we have here, you know, we're also having our thoracic and lung cancer specialists that are coming here uh, and seeing patients for even a broader uh, scope of cancer services. And we hope that it's really just the beginning of many, many more uh, to uh, be a part of this. Um, and, you know, it's really through the support, as I said, of the Galasano family that we're able to do this. And you've got Dr. Ron Kumar here. Right there. There she is. So um, she's the medical director of the Galasano Center. She's a talented and passionate physician. She's going to deliver incredible care here to the folks of uh, Niagara County. And so we're just really excited that she's with Roswell Park and that she's here uh, serving uh, so this new center brings convenient, appropriate, evidence-based care close to home, offering chemotherapy, hematology, and access to some of the latest and greatest innovative um, uh, treatments that we have at Roswell Park, um, and bringing it right here where people don't have to go over two bridges. Um, and you know, many of the trials, uh, cancer new therapies that, that we have are in these clinical trials, and we'd like to bring those here as well. So besides thanking Dr. Kumar for her passion and acknowledging her, I'm so glad that you're on our team, and acknowledging Thomas Schwab, who's now hiding. But he's our head of, uh, Dr. Schwab is a urologist, but he's the head of our uh, strategy and business development. Uh, Jim and Laura Constantine, 
where you are. Thank you so much. They beautify everything. They design and beautify everything, <coughs> uh, and they're an incredible team. And the entire team at the Roswell Alliance Foundation, who really worked hand in hand with the Niagara Falls Memorial to make this center a reality. And then, of course, Joe, Sheila, you know, she is. She, is she? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, and Steve and team for being such committed partners in our mission of this comprehensive cancer care. And last but not least, Tom Galasano and the Galasano Foundation. I mean, Costello, um, you're really, your generosity really helped to open the doors, literally, to this uh, facility. And entrusting and supporting Roswell Park and Memorial to deliver this innovative model of care is greatly appreciated. And we we, we really can't thank you enough. So um, uh, we're here to save lives, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, it's a, it's, this is, we're going to change uh, paradigms here at Niagara County, and we're just delighted to be here. So uh, this is a really, it's a responsibility that's really core to both of our mission, and we both embrace this with great pride and hope. So thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. Now, I would like to introduce uh, a Roswell patient, uh, Carol Basig. I'm Carol Pasini, otherwise known as some of the staff and nurses here as the second mayor of the center <laughs> and the cheesecake lady. But I'll get into a little bit later. I am thrilled to be standing here in this beautiful new Galasano Center. I have been a Roswell patient from on Military Road since 2015. I am now a four-time ovarian cancer survivor having been through surgeries and multiple rounds of chemotherapy under the care of Dr. Frederick, my uh, Roswell OBGYN, and Dr. Ahmed, and now Dr. Rant Kumar. Having a care in my backyard is so convenient. I live in the town of Niagara and just happen to be right around the corner from the old office. The Great Center is now only about three miles away from me and so many other people in the Niagara County. It excites me that this new center can give so many others the warm, welcoming experience I have had over the past four years. I hope each patient coming through these doors find the same attitude that I had. You must be a fighter and look at each day in a positive way, no matter what day is like. I can remember my first chemo treatment here I had to be in the chair for five to six hours. One, one nurse stood by my side the entire time. She was here for me, and she remains one of the nurses that are here today. That means so much to me, especially during what can be an uncertain time. I want to personally thank Nurse Lauren, along with the entire staff, that have made my journey easier. I learned a lot throughout my cancer journey, any questions I have had was answered. I am thrilled that the staff from the military road practice is here in a new beautiful location and continue to treat, educate, and care for patients. I've enjoyed my experience with the staff so much that I have found myself bringing homemade cheesecake <laughs> to the office just to brighten their day, hence the cheesecake lady. <laughs> nickname. I guess I get called the second mayor because I often pass through and stop by and say hello. They have all become part of our family. I had a chance to come to the Galasano Center last week. I mean, just to look around. It's so big and beautiful, as you can see. We are so appreciative to Roswell Park Memorial and the Galasano family for creating this special place. This is now my new medical facility, and I'm happy to continue to 
to stop by for checkups and treatments. I am now um, I am now taking a maintenance chemotherapy pill. I just started on this a couple weeks ago and I am doing great. I am hoping it will change my six month cycle of experiencing a reoccurrence of this awful disease. I hope I can continue to live up to my nicknames now in a center that will open their doors, providing the same great care I have always received for so many people in the Niagara County and beyond. Thank you for allowing me the chance to share a few of my remarks here today. And again, congratulations to everyone involving in bringing the center into existence. And now, with a closing prayer, I'd like to introduce Bishop Jesse Scott. He's chairman of the NOAA Board of Directors and the senior pastor at the Word of Life Ministries. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you in the name of your precious Son, Jesus, thanking you for this day that we can all rejoice and be glad. This is the day that we can celebrate and thank you for your goodness. It's because of you, O oh Lord, that this facility is here to help bring healing to the souls that are afflicted. I pray, O oh God, for the staff here, for the leadership. I pray for the doctors and nurses that will adhere and help to everyone that comes in these doors. Thank you, O oh Lord, that our community is so much better off because of this facility for the work in the hands of everyone that came forth to make this possible. But yet with you, O oh Lord, all things are possible. And that's why we thank you, we thank you, and we thank you. And Father, you said in 1 Peter 5 and 7 that we can cast all our care upon you because you care for us. And truly, O oh Lord, because of this facility, you've shown that you care for us. For people that will come here for care, O oh God, that you will touch them, that we can call this a miracle center that lives will be saved right here in this facility. And oh God, I believe this is just the beginning. There will be, there will be other extensions and things will come to make our city much better. That everyone can say they're able to receive good health care from this facility. I thank you, oh God, for the president, for the board of directors, for all the leaders and everyone involved right now. And God, we give you all the glory, we give you all the praise. And God, we ask you never leave us, nor forsake us, but always be with us. And God, I thank you for the change you're making in Niagara Falls for the change you're bringing about in Niagara Falls. I pray, God, for a new Niagara. I thank you, God, for Memorial Hospital. Let us never forget, oh God, never forget how good you are to us. We ever thank you, give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name, let everybody say it. Thank you to all the donors who have already given to this incredible project. We still have some named gifts uh, opportunities available to permanently leave a legacy here at Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center. This is an incredible way to remember a loved one, and it has such great impact on our community. Your gift holds great power. Please contact me to find out more. We are planning an event later this year to recognize all of our generous donors. Hopefully we won't have to wear masks. <laughs> now I would like to call on Carol, who gave our patient testimonial, John, a current patient, and Margaret, a Roswell patient and People Incorporated client, to please help us dedicate the bell for our center and ring in this new era of cancer care here at Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center. Thank you. 